using a box cutter or a utility knife, cut the outside, bottom, and edge of the box along the dotted line. Lift the box over the unit and unpack the elliptical. Use an Allen wrench to release two socket head cap bolts to remove the shipping stabilizer. Slide in the rear stabilizer tube to the rear rail assembly and ensure that it's in place. Secure the top of the rear stabilizer tube into the rear frame assembly by using two hex bolts and two flat washers and the included wrench. Secure it by using two hex bolts and two curved washers on each side of the rear stabilizer tube into the rear frame assembly. Run the computer cable through the console mast. Pull the opposite end of the cable and twist tie it through the console mast until the cable exits the other side. Pull slightly on the computer cable at the top of the mast while installing. This will ensure the cable does not get pinched and shorted during the installation. Install the console mast into the receiving bracket on the top of the main frame. Secure the console mast by using four socket head cap bolts and four split washers while using the Allen wrench. Install the bottle holder to the console mast with two Phillips head screws and tighten it using the provided screwdriver. Plug all of the connectors into the back of the console. Attach the computer cable and the hand pulse cable, the resistance switch wire and the incline switch wire. Secure the console on the mounting plate and hide the cables inside the console mast. Screw in four Phillips head screws to the back of the console by using the included screwdriver. Insert one wave washer onto the right shaft of the console mast. Install the right lower handlebar onto the console mast. Secure it by using a flat washer and a hex head bolt by using the wrench. Insert one wave washer onto the left shaft of the console mast. Install the left lower handle bar onto the console mast. Secure it by using a flat washer and a hex head bolt by using the wrench. Attach the rod end bearing to the bottom of the left lower handle bar. Use the included screwdriver to align the rod end bearing. Insert a hex head bolt and tighten it together with the flat washer and nylon nut using the included wrench. Do the same for the other side. Insert the left top handlebar onto the left lower handlebar. 
to secure it by using three hex head bolts, two flat washers, and one curved washer by using a wrench. Insert the right top handlebar onto the right lower handlebar to secure it by using three hex head bolts, two flat washers, and one curved washer by using a wrench. Connect both of the resistance wires and store it inside the frame tube. Snap in the switch wire cap to the console mast. Install the handlebar covers over the handlebar axle connections by using the screwdriver. Secure it by using four sheet metal screws. Do the same for the other side. match the right and left console mast cover. Secure it by using two sheet metal screws. Match the connecting arm covers on the pedal bar assembly. Secure it by using a Phillips head screw and a sheet metal screw. Install the slide wheel covers above each side of the urethane slide wheel. Secure it by using two Phillips head screws. Install the rear bar cover on the rear stabilizer and the cover holders. Install the front and rear cover holders by securing one sheet metal screw on each piece. Plug in both oval end caps onto both ends of the stabilizer tube. Install the tablet holder to the back of the console by using four sheet metal screws. You're good to go. Conduct a thorough visual inspection of the elliptical trainer and assess all its features and functions before using it. Make sure to read all warnings and instructions in the E95S Elliptical Trainer Owner's Manual before beginning to assemble the E95S Elliptical Trainer. Follow all instructions as given. Soul Fitness is not responsible for damage, injury, or equipment failure caused by improper assembly or use. If the installation process appears too challenging, please call Soul at 866-780-7653 and request a technician to install the product in your home. The technician installation service is not included in the price of the product.